Join us on a thrilling journey as we explore some of the most jaw-dropping impact craters scattered across our magnificent planet. From the remnants of a colossal meteorite collision to the fascinating stories they hold, get ready to witness the incredible forces of nature that have shaped these remarkable landscapes. The Rotor Com Crater The Rotor Com Crater is one of the most fascinating natural wonders in the world. It's a huge impact crater located in the Namib Desert in southern Namibia. It was formed about 5 million years ago when a large meteorite crashed into the Earth with tremendous force. The crater itself is about 2.5 kilometers in diameter and 130 meters deep. It's surrounded by a ring of red sandstone hills, which gives it its name, Rotor Kamm, which means red comb in German. The crater is a unique habitat for many plants and animals that have adapted to the harsh desert conditions. Some of the species found here are endemic, meaning they're found nowhere else on Earth. For example, the Rotor Kamm lark is a small bird that lives only in the crater and feeds on seeds and insects. The crater also hosts some rare and endangered mammals, such as the Hartman's Mountain Zebra. The Cali Crater Field Why settle for just one crater where you can witness the awe-inspiring sight of nine? Head over to Sarima, Estonia's largest island, and discover the incredible Cali Crater Field. Situated a mere 11 miles from the island capital, this unique site comprises a single large crater and eight smaller ones. Believe it or not, this island was already inhabited around 1530 to 1549 BCE, during the time of a meteorite impact. A study published in the Meteoritics and Planetary Science suggests that people were living here back then, although the exact age of the craters is still debated, which estimates ranging from 2420 to 8400 years old. Scientists involved in the research, however, have found no evidence indicating any significant impact on the human population at the time. Just imagine the spectacle that unfolded when the meteorite disintegrated into fragments just three to six miles above the ground, finally crashing into the Estonian island. These colossal craters are considered among Earth's youngest. Evidence of the past can be glimpsed at the site with domestic animal bones and a massive stone wall encircling Lake Cali. This hints at its use as a sacrificial site around the beginning of the Common Era. The Tanuma Crater In the heart of the Sahara Desert, there is an intriguing crater that catches the eye. Picture a near-perfect circle stretching 1.9 kilometers wide with a towering rim that reaches 100 meters. This captivating sight rests amidst a vast plain of rocks so aging that they were deposited millions upon millions of years before dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Initially, scientists couldn't agree on what caused this crater, with some leaning towards a volcanic origin. However, upon closer examination, they discovered that the crater's hardened lava was actually rock that had melted due to the impact of a meteorite. Interestingly enough, despite residing in ancient rock, Tanuma is relatively young in geological terms, dating back to around 10,000 to 30,000 years. Once scientists realized it was an impact crater, they began to ponder whether it resulted from a multiple impact event. Along an almost perfectly straight line, two other craters named Temimichat Gelleman and Aeoli joined Tanuma. In 2003, a study aimed to shed light on this mystery by examining the ages of these craters. By analyzing the chemical composition of rocks, geologists could estimate their formation time. Their findings revealed that Tanoma and their sister formed at different times, indicating that they couldn't have been the result of the same impact event. The Lonar Crater Lake Tucked away in the Deccan Plateau of southern India lies an enigmatic wonder known as Lonar Crater. This massive meteorite crater has intrigued scientists ever since it was first discovered back in 1823 by British officer C.J.E. Alexander, as shared by NASA Earth Observatory. Lonar Crater stands out from the rest because it's the only known impact crater formed in basalt. The crater boasts a unique ecosystem that serves as a sanctuary for local plant and animal life. The tree-covered hills within the crater provide a habitat for various wildlife species, including peafowl, chinkara, and gazelles. During the winter months, migratory birds flock to the lake, adding to the area's natural splendor. Beyond its natural significance, Lonar Crater holds a special place in Hindu mythology. National Geographic Traveler reveals that Lonar Lake is believed to be the spot where Lord Vishnu vanquished the demon giant Larnasura, according to the mythology. The crater was the demon's abode, and the lake formed from its spilled blood. The cultural importance is evident in the temples surrounding the crater's edge. Although most of these temples now lie in ruins, one temple dedicated to the local goddess Kamalaja Devi is still actively worshipped. Nordlinga Reis Believe it or not, the Reis in Crater there's a hop and a skip and a jump about 25 miles northwest of Pretoria, you'll stumble upon something out of this world. That being the Swang Meteorite Crater, originally known as Pretoria Salt Pan. This crater is a real gem because it's one of the best preserved craters on the entire planet. The sediment deposits on the crater floor are like a time capsule, holding climate records that go back a whopping 220,000 years. 
If you're up for an adventure, you can explore the Swain Crater Trail, stretching over 4.4 miles. It's a fantastic way to soak in the awe-inspiring scenery and the experience the crater up close and personal. And guess what? More than meets the eye at this place. You can also check out the museum display, which surely packs some fascinating meteorite-related knowledge. But of course, that's not all. The Swain Crater is nestled within a conservation area teeming with diverse wildlife, according to the City of Swansea government site. So while you're explaining this cosmic marvel, keep your eyes peeled for some fantastic creatures running around. The Pingulit Crater Deep in the heart of the Yungava Plateau lies Pingulit National Park, showcasing the magnificent Pingulit Crater that's sure to leave you in awe. This arctic wonder is filled with pristine rainwater, completely isolated from the inflows of other lakes. Plunging down to a staggering depth of 876 feet, this unique environment offers scientists a captivating glimpse into the geological past. As NASA Earth Observatory reveals, the sediments of Pingulit Lake have remained untouched since the Pleistocene Ice Age, which spanned from about 2.6 million years ago until approximately 11,700 years ago. While sediments and surrounding water bodies only stretch back to the last Ice Age, the Pingulit Crater has preserved an extensive record from a much earlier time. Due to its remote location, expeditions didn't begin until the 1950s. However, evidence suggests that the local nomadic Inuits who relied on resources from the interior of the Yungava lands have long been aware of the crater's existence. Traces of rock shelters and circular stone arrangements are still visible, serving as reminders of where ancient Nunamiyat tents once stood. In the past, only the Nunamiyats and the most intrepid explorers could venture into this land of wonders. However, nowadays, anyone with a sense of adventure can embark on a journey to the Pingulit Crater. Depending on your season of visit, Pingulit National Park offers a range of activities. This includes exhilarating summer hikes to throwing cross-country skiing in the water. Wolf Creek Crater Let's talk about Wolf Creek Crater, a fascinating natural wonder located on the edge of the Great Sandy Desert in the Wolf Creek Crater National Park. This is up in northern Western Australia. This impressive crater came into existence about 300,000 years ago, or so we thought. A recent study from the University of Wollongong in 2019 took a closer look at the radiation exposure of the crater rocks and suggested that it might actually be much younger, estimated to be around 120,000 years. While Europeans only stumbled upon this wonder in 1947 during an aerial survey, Aboriginal people have long been familiar with it. In fact, they refer to it as a Janiel in the Jaru language, and as Kartim Malar in the Wamaja language. The crater holds significant cultural significance for the local indigenous communities. One captivating story tells of two colossal ancestral snakes that slithered across the desert, giving birth to the nearby Sturton Wolf Creeks. As the tale goes, the craters were one of these mythological snakes emerged from the ground, leaving its mark for eternity. The Beringer Crater Beringer Crater, also known as Meteor Crater, is quite the cosmic spectacle. It came into existence just a mere 50,000 years ago when a colossal iron meteor measuring anywhere from 98 feet to 164 in diameter decided to crash into the Colorado Plateau in northern Arizona. This massive 300,000 ton meteor was no slowpoke. Zoomed through space at speeds of up to 26,000 miles an hour. When it collided with Earth, it caused an explosion with the power of 2.5 million tons of TNT. It actually excavated a staggering 175 million tons of rock. The origins of the crater were initially identified by a clever mining engineer named Daniel Maru Beringer. Back in the day, not many scientists were on board with the idea that the crater resulted from a meteor striking our planet. But old Beringer didn't let the naysayers stop him. He dedicated several years to investigating the crater and providing solid evidence of its cosmic origin. Eventually, the scientific community came around and accepted his findings. Now here's an interesting twist of the story. Beringer wasn't just interested in the scientific aspect of the crater. No, he actually had dollar signs in his eyes. He believed that a gigantic meteorite lay beneath the crater, just waiting to be mined for its precious metal content. He spent the rest of his life trying to attract that meteorite, but alas, his efforts were in vain. See you all next time!